Hi, and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how the secretion of insulin by beta cells is controlled. In the last video, we saw how the concentration of glucose in the blood is regulated by alpha and beta cells in the islets of Langerhans of the pancreas. And if you haven't seen that video, then you should watch it now. In this video, we're looking at how the secretion of insulin by beta cells is controlled. Remember that beta cells secrete insulin in response to an increase in the blood glucose concentration. This can take place after a meal rich in carbohydrates. So let's see how the secretion of insulin is controlled. I'm showing you here a beta cell in the pancreas. Inside the beta cell, we have secretory vesicles containing insulin. Spanning the cell surface membrane, we have a number of proteins. First, we have glucose transporter proteins. We also have ATP-sensitive potassium ion channels and voltage-gated calcium ion channels. Now, in this diagram, the concentration of glucose in the blood is normal. In other words, not elevated. Scientists call this the resting state. Notice that in the resting state, the ATP-sensitive potassium ion channels are open and the voltage-gated calcium ion channels are closed. OK, now because the ATP-sensitive potassium ion channels are open, potassium ions can diffuse out of the beta cell. This means that in the resting state, there's a potential difference across the cell surface membrane of the beta cell. The inside of the beta cell is at a potential of minus 70 millivolts compared to the outside of the cell. Scientists say that the cell surface membrane is hyperpolarized. OK, let's see what happens when the concentration of glucose in the blood increases. Scientists call this the glucose stimulated state. Because the concentration of glucose in the blood has increased, more glucose now enters the cell through the glucose transporter proteins. The glucose is now used by mitochondria to carry out respiration, producing ATP. The ATP now binds to the ATP sensitive potassium ion channels, causing them to close. Potassium ions can no longer diffuse out of the cell. This causes the cell surface membrane potential to fall to minus 30 millivolts. Scientists say that the cell surface membrane has now depolarized. The depolarization now triggers the voltage-gated calcium ion channels to open, and calcium ions enter the cell by facilitated diffusion. The increased concentration of calcium ions in the cytoplasm now triggers the secretory vesicles to move to and fuse with the cell surface membrane, and the insulin is now released from the cell by exocytosis. The insulin then enters the bloodstream and travels around the body and this triggers the blood glucose concentration to decrease back to the normal range. In the next video, we look at diabetes. 